Hello Zebra Herd, welcome to Mega Man 11, the newest addition to the Mega Man series. I've never played one of these games for you guys, and I'm super excited to get started with this one. It just released a little bit earlier this week, and it looks like a lot of fun. Now, just like any of the other Mega Man games, I'm sure it's a lot of fun, but also incredibly difficult, so I might end up choosing an easier difficulty if it gives me the option. I just don't know if I can handle all the difficulty this game is gonna throw at me. But I would love to hear, have you played this game yet? What is, what's your favorite Mega Man? What's your favorite Mega Man boss? I would love to hear all about that and more. But for now, with all of that being said, let us get started with Mega Man 11. Okay, so there is more than one difficulty choice. I think we're gonna go with casual, because for dedicated Blue Bomber fans who love a real challenge, I do love a real challenge, but I just don't know if I can handle it today. Just don't know. So we're just gonna do casual. The year is 20XX at the laboratory of Thomas Light, father of the modern robot society. Many hardworking robots have arrived for their annual maintenance checkup. Oh, hey, what was that, Brick Man? Hmm. All systems nominal. You're in great shape, Blockman. All thanks to you, Doc. You built me rock solid. Well, I can hear the construction yard calling. Block out. <laughs> Good luck out there. Ro, how many checkups are left? Let's see. We just finished with Blockman. That leaves Torch Man, Acid Man, Impact Man, Bounce Man, Fuse Man, Tundra Man, and Blast man. Just seven to go. Oh, brother, there's no end to him. Doc, how about giving your favorite assistant a break? I don't need a break, Otto. You know, for a robot, you sure do complain a lot. Now let's crank it up a gear. Oh, I ain't a machine. I mean, yeah, but still. Mr. Torchman, please proceed to the... What on earth? Ro, Otto, hurry to me! Splendid to see you again, Light. Wiley! Doctor, what's going on? Stand back, everyone. I'll handle this. Mega Man! Hm, this is no time for your heroics. I've simply come to give Dr. Light a message. Then kindly be quick about it. Of course. You see, I recalled some old research. The very invention you so coldly crushed when we were students together. Or has your memory failed you? Our university days. A device. It can't be. Oh, but it can. Your objections wouldn't stifle me forever. I have perfected my design. And now we'll see who was right all along. Dr. Light, what's the ruckus? <laughs> Whoa. Perfect timing. The lot of you will make excellent test subjects. Wow, who are you calling test subjects? Quickly, you must all run and hide. Too late, speedy gear. My robots. Over here, Light. That speed! What have you done? Dang it! Nobody blocks Black Man! Let those robots go, Dr. Wily! <laughs> I have a better idea! At last the world will bow down to the genius of Dr. Wily! <laughs> Doctor, I'll go after Wily! Wait, Mega Man! Wiley's invention is called the Double Gear System. It's designed to push robots far beyond their normal strength and speed. If he really has completed it, I'm afraid you won't stand a chance. But we can't just let him get away. Mega Man, I can tell you won't be stopped very well. This is the prototype double gear system that Wiley developed back at Robot University. If I install this into your circuits, you may be able to stop him. 
but it's dangerous. Double gear places great strain on robot systems. I can take it, Doctor. I want to do this, no matter the cost. Hook me up! As you wish. The installation will take some time. There's a lot of work to do. A few days later. The double gear system is fully installed. Mega Man, rise and shine! Go get him, Mega Buddy! And remember, your old pal Otto is here to help out. Mega Man, that dirty Wily won't know what hit him. Mega Man, you're doing a noble thing. Be careful out there. Doctor, roll. Auto. I'll be back soon. All right, so do we want an explanation of the double gear system? Sure, let's figure this out a little bit. Uh, so double gear system, try it. Um, press R to activate the speed gear. You'll move so fast that everything else seems slow. Press, uh, press L to activate the power gear. Charge your buster to unleash even more power. Be careful, if the gauge is full, yeah, that's interesting. If I just, whoa, that is huge. So be careful if the ga gauge gear gauge fills up, you'll overheat and neither gear will be usable on cooldown. So let's try, how do I do the, the, I don't know. Like that's the normal one right there. This is like just me using a normal buster. But then if I hold L, and I guess if I charge this the entire time, oh, I guess I did it too soon, didn't I? Got you though. If I hold L and you can see it's like cooling down now. So if I were to do that and then, you know, what's it called, release it, that should be like a supercharged one, which would be pretty cool. So let's try that one more time, ready, just, boom. Okay, well that sort of worked. Hold on. Yeah, I see it, like we shoot double, which is pretty cool, oh, there it was. Um, and then if we do this, this slows things down. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know why it said ZR, like if I were to, ZR doesn't work for me, so I don't know if that was like a typo, I don't know, uh, but it looks like that's about it. So let's go ahead and turn all that off, the tutorial, I'm done with it. And yeah, as you can see, if you don't know how Mega Man works, you get to actually do any stage in any order you want. The thing is, is that every character has a weakness. Um, so you have to sort of choose, the hardest part, I think, is choosing which one you want to do first. I think we'll start with Blockman, because he seems like the easiest, but then after that, you know, maybe Blockman, you get his ability for defeating him, Maybe his ability is strong against Bounce Man, and Bounce Man's is strong against Impact, and Impact is strong against Tundra, and Tundra's strong against Torch. You never really know. So you have to sort of just piece it together. I think Blockman would be good to start with. If you guys have any suggestions, I would love to hear. And what is this menu? This just tells me about Mega Man and his current abilities. Okay, well, we'll give this a shot. We'll see what ends up happening. Now, like I said before, I chose casual difficulty, but we're going against Blockman. He was in the opening cutscene, so I can only imagine he's supposed to be the guy you take on first. Oh, and this is the level that you see in all the trailers. That, I would hope so. So we start with five lives. You only can get a maximum of nine, which is weird, but you know, it, it, if that's how it is, that's how it is. I think you start with less lives at the least. I think that's the challenge when uh, you um you play on, whoa, what, did I just get an E-Tank? What was that? That was weird, it just showed an E-Tank for a second. I don't know, maybe I just picked up extra health. Weird, okay, I've never seen that before, that must be new. And what are, I, I should have, yeah, I should have Roll. Or not Roll, Roll is the girl. Whatever uh, his name is, Rex, something like that? Rock? No, no, Rockman is Mega Man. I don't know what the dog's name is, okay? There we go, got that. Uh, but yeah, it seems weird. It definitely is easier in casual mode, but honestly, I knew I was gonna have a hard time. I've been really sick all week. This is the only video game I've had the energy to play, because I really wanted to record it for you guys. So I knew that I was gonna have a hard time on harder difficulties in Mega Man, so please do forgive me that I'm playing on an easier difficulty. I mean, I don't think anybody watches me for incredible pro gameplay, or they would've laughed a long time ago. We're definitely gonna have fun with the game, it's gonna be a lot of fun, but it might be difficult here and there, so we'll just have to survive and do what we can. But yeah, our goal is to get to, uh, to the end of each stage, defeat the boss, and take their ability. Sort of like Mario from Mario Odyssey in some ways, you take their abilities, but uh, a little bit different as well. So these guys are tough, because you have to hit them as they're like rolling, yeah, like they're a little opening, which is not easy, but I'm doing okay so far. We're also picking up these little screws, and they're on the bottom left, 230 of them so far. Interesting. These little guys are tough. 
because they're just hard to reach. Not only drop something in the pit. Okay, keep going. <clears throat> okay, what is with this guy? I'm guessing I can only hit this part? Looks like it. Okay, oh, okay, it bounces off when he's spinning. Come on, keep getting him, keep getting him. This is tough so far. Like, I, it's, it's uncasual, but I'm a little nervous. I, mean, I haven't lost too much health, luckily. Yeah, go for him here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. But yeah, the idea is really interesting. It really does mix up Mega Man with this like slowdown. I guess I should be using this a bit more, shouldn't I? There we go, see? That, that was a bit easier. It gives me more time to attack him. Okay, let's keep moving this way. Okay, I got this guy now. Charge up, charge up. Actually, why am I slowing down? Yeah, he can't attack me from here. Okay, cool, there you go. And we'll, oh, that gear thing. I guess it restored my gear meat on the on the, on the the top left, so when I use those, you know, it, it almost maxes out, but then if I pick that up, it sort of fixes it. So can I shoot through walls? Oh, I can, cool. Whoop, oh, I missed, hold on. No, that was bad. Oh, that's tough. Hold on, oh no, my gear's overcharged. Oh, got him a little bit, there we go. Can I shoot through this wall? I can, sweet. Okay, let me pick this up, there we go, that helps. Got it. So I don't actually don't need that extra health right now. I might wanna leave it here and come back for it. Oh, I don't trust this, the conveyor belts are tough. But yeah, I asked you guys earlier what your first or whatever your favorite Mega Man game is. Mine is actually Mega Man 2. It's one of the few that I've really properly played but I think it's a really fun one. I think it's just like one of the most well-balanced Mega Mans. Some people do say it's a little too easy, but I disagree. Okay, so. Oh, that missed him. Okay, jump over that dude. Darn it, oh, you know what, Good. keep rolling, buddy. Little does he know that there is a, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, he's gonna slam me. Not looking like it, okay. But um, little did that guy know is that there's a giant spike wall waiting for him. What is with? Yeah, these little windy guys, I think they only pop up when I'm close to them. Looks like it. Whoop, okay. So this is getting a little scary because we got conveyor belt platforms and moving blocks. And if I get hit, I sort of fall over. This is probably where I'm supposed to be using the slowdown. So let me use it where I need to. It seems like it's definitely more useful to do the slowdown a lot more than it is to do the extra damage. Because a lot of these enemies don't die in too many hits. Maybe that's because of my easier difficulty but really it's just getting the proper timing to hit them. Okay, let's get rid of the little guys first. And then I'm gonna hop down there. I mean, obviously if I get hit by one of those blocks, I am falling downwards. So I gotta be careful of that. But in the meantime, really not looking so bad. Okay, so, oh, I'm on the conveyor belt now, which will make this way more difficult. Come on, keep attacking him. Oh, okay. Don't bother attacking him when he's spinning, because that doesn't really do much. Oh, I did not land very much on that one. Oh, that was so rude. That was so rude, get out of here. And that's sort of the thing about the slowdown. It seems like it, it, you know, makes time go by half as slow. And if that's the case, that's actually quite easy to do double damage because you are literally attacking twice as fast if you attack as fast as you can. That's pretty cool. And we defeat him without it being. Okay, there's a one up. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? I think that's a one up. Give me Mega Man's head. Hey, look at that, six lives. That was cool. Okay, good. I thought they had an enemy like that in other Mega Man games. But it feels like this one's a proper reboot of the series because I know back when Mega Man 9 came out, that was like the first one that came out in like 10 years at that point in time. Like Mega Man 8 was on the PlayStation 1, Mega Man 9 was on the PlayStation 3, you know? Ow, stop that. These guys are not nice. But um, Mega Man 9 was sort of like a retro 8-bit game, just like all the other original Mega Mans. And sort of the same thing with Mega Man 10, but here in Mega Man 11, they sort of went a little bit more modern, which I appreciate. I don't think they were going all that modern with the difficulty, unfortunately. But I'm just glad they actually provided other difficulty modes. I do appreciate that a lot. So, uh, because I can definitely use, I hope nobody gets too mad that I'm doing an easier difficulty. Like I said, it was either this or me maybe taking a pass on the game, you know? I didn't want to do that. Okay, so, uh, there's an E-Tank here. Now, if I remember correctly, E-Tanks sort of restore everything to maximum. Oh, oh, that was scary. That was really scary. Okay. Keep moving, keep moving. Oh, this looks like it could be tough. Let's jump over there. Whoa, where did that rock come from? Okay, so I gotta go now. And then, I don't think I can make that. Uh, oh, 
Where am I going now? Up here? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm right here. Oh, can I? No, uh, no, no, come on. That was sort of weird. I was just like all over the place. I was just trying to stay still. Okay, so we're back in the five lives though. I'm glad I got that one up. That was very useful. Okay, I can't jump up from there. That's fine. I mean, maybe if I used Roll or whatever the dog's name is. I think it's, it's not Roll, is it? The girl's name is Roll. I don't remember. Okay, got up there. No, 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 no. Made that mistake last time. I can't make it again. I gotta be careful. Ow, no, what the heck just happened? Oh, this is so difficult. This is super tough. Okay, got it. Jump onto that block, go like this, go like that. Keep moving, keep moving. Perfect. Okay, this this room looks just as difficult. Let me go ahead and try to get rid of these guys. That one, and then I know that blocks are gonna start falling. Get rid of this guy before he shoots. Same thing with that guy and this dude. Not bad. It is cool to see all these you know, classic platformers starting to come back. Last year we had Sonic Mania. This year we have Mega Man 11. It's just pretty cool. Okay, I got that guy just barely. We're keeping pretty high on our, our whoa. I did like a super jump there. Maybe I didn't. It looked like I jumped higher than normal, but I suppose I did not. Beat that guy up. We had a lot of room to hit him, so that was fine. Hmm. I don't know if you can get anything out of those blocks. Oh, wait, no, it's you. Oh, no, wait. Oh, can I get you from down here? No, he's gone. Oh, well, I guess I didn't need the extra health. Let me restore my gear. All right, we're making some really good progress through this level so far. Oh, that's a cool look. Oh, we're at the boss fight. Whenever you see the Dr. W sign for Dr. Wily, that means you're at the boss fight. This is exciting. I actually have full health and everything too. I'm glad. So here's Blockman. Interesting hieroglyphs in the background. How old is Blockman? I mean, he can't be that old. He was made by Dr. Light. Whoa. Okay, I got the speed you're going on. I only want to, oh, hey. Oh, that's giving me bad flashbacks to Mega Man 2. You know, like all the disappearing blocks you'd have to stand on. I mean, that was like most of the Mega Man games, honestly. Ow, that hurts, dude. Maybe I should do some extra damage then. How is it, how do you like this? Okay, ow, that hurts. Starting to get a bit beat up. Whoa, what are you doing? Leave me alone. You're just jumping around. Oh, I can't do damage to you. Whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, he's a transformer. Do I, oh, I, okay, of course I shoot at the big red button in the center of him. Seems like a design flaw to me. Whoa, he almost got me there. Gotta be careful. Whoa, I don't know where you're punching. Man, Blockman's got some moves. Come on, keep going. Whoa, ow, that one, he just punched me right in the face. I didn't know where he was punched, it was a little weird. Okay, whoa, yeah, I don't know where he's gonna go. A little weird, don't you think? Come on, whoa, ow, again. Come on, okay, he's almost down, I made him. Oh wait, wait, he goes back to this form, huh? Okay, keep going at him, keep going at him. Use your super, whoa, okay, hold on, I was not ready for this. Okay, I don't know what to do about this. I guess keep shooting. Ow, come on, I almost got him. I almost got him. Almost got him. Ow. Huh. Yeah, I beat him. I beat him. I can't believe it. It's beautiful. I thought I, th I thought I was for sure gonna die there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there we have it. We defeated our first robot boss, Blockman, and with it, we hopefully get an ability. Let's see. There's Mega Man. It is weird, I wanted to mention this earlier in the first cutscene, I don't think I did, maybe I did. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> so, headgear, arm gear, got some interesting stuff with it. You got a new weapon, the block dropper. Try it. Okay, ooh. Generate heavy stone blocks that drop down to crush enemies. W try it while power gear is active to multiply, hold on, hold on. Oh, I just do that, okay. Um. To try one power gear, okay, that's normal time gear. If I, whoa, that is so cool. I love that idea. All right, woo, let, let it rain. Okay, so let us go ahead and exit. That was super cool. So there is Blockman defeated, but one thing I wanted to say what's weird is that Mega Man sort of looks like a normal boy, a normal human, but then there's other robots like Auto and Blockman that just look like robots. I don't know, it's like, why not make them so that they can change into different things? I didn't even know Mega Man could change his clothes, but we saw in the opening cutscene, he can, he just looked like a normal boy. Anyways, that was so much fun. Let me know if you have any suggestions on which heroes or heroes, robots, whatever they are, to take on next, I would love to hear. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Mega Man 11. 
If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Mega Zebra. So you have watched at the end if you are a Zebra Tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.